Congratulations to you all on your graduation. What do you want to be when you grow up? This is a question you will no longer need to answer. Thank you to all the teachers and parents. This day would not be possible without you. It's great to be back at the home of the Spartans. When I was invited to speak with you all, I was both surprised and honored. Surprised because it did not feel like it was that long ago when I was where you are. I, at my graduation in Breslin Center, I was sitting there and thinking about my month-long vacation, whether it was long enough or if I should take an additional month off before starting my job. I'm sure some of you are thinking of those much-deserved vacations right now or your parties later tonight. But I also figured that some of you may be wondering what your world will look like a few years down the line. What do you need to do to stay ahead of the game to be happy and successful? Preparing for this day was a great opportunity for me to reflect on my life lessons to share the wisdom I've accumulated over the last many years. I didn't realize it was wisdom at the time. I was simply hoping to make it through those situations. Thankfully today, I can call those life lessons wisdom. Live, lift, and learn. I've realized over the years that these three words are key to my happiness, and I want to share them with you. Live your life. In my final year of undergraduation, some 20 odd years ago, I had 11 interviews on campus for my first job. I was rejected by 10 companies until I got a job as a design engineer. I'll tell you a story of one of those 10 times I was rejected. I was interviewing for the job of a factory line production manager. Halfway through the interview, I was told by the interviewer that he would like to give me some brotherly advice. He told me that being a girl managing a factory was not something I could do. I asked him if I had responded incorrectly to any of his questions. He told me that I had answered the questions correctly. However, I shouldn't pursue the path of a mechanical engineer as that would like, likely lead to manufacturing job opportunities. Instead, I should switch my career to a field where I can get a job that a girl can handle. I did not get that job. Far from being disillusioned, I reflected upon his words and all the other rejections. I was passionate about continuing to find work in my chosen field of engineering. I learned from that interview that I'd have to work very hard to get to do what was essentially considered a man's domain. Today, I stand here as proof that girls can manage factories. Small, thank you. Small or big, even ones that generate billions in revenues. Every one of us will face situations like this, where others seem to know what is better for you. If this happens to you, don't change for the sake of others. Live a life you wish to live. Know yourself, your capabilities, motivations, and limitations. If defense is your strength, don't try and be an offensive player because the world wants you to be one. Don't try and be Steph Curry if you have the skills to be Draymond Green. Ask the Warriors what it means to have Draymond, Defensive Player of the Year, and MSU alum on their team. Be true to yourself. Listen to and evaluate feedback on its merits. Some of it will make you a better person. Others will help build character. Then go on. Live a life better than anyone can imagine you will. Don't worry about always getting it right. You don't have to. Take chances and make the most of every day. Don't live the life 
that is someone else's imagination or expectation. Live the life you wish to live. Lift yourself, then lift those around you. It is a unique opportunity you have. Self-esteem is critical. Don't undermine or underestimate yourself. Don't pigeonhole yourself or let others pigeonhole you based on your appearance, gender, birthplace, experience, or lack of experience. Remember, education is a great leveler. Don't limit your horizons. In 2013, I started working with a team that had a very critical function in bringing products to life. However, they were always quiet in meetings. They rarely expressed themselves. Given they had a critical role to play in the final product that shipped, I was worried. When I asked some of the team members about this, they thought that their opinion was not as critical as some of the other functions. Never assume that you don't matter. For the next year, I tried to get them to participate actively in discussions. I started by asking for their opinion more often then had them lead a few critical meetings and made them part of critical decisions. A year later, I started seeing the team sit around the table, lead meetings, and voice their opinion. Eventually, in the holiday quarter in 2014, on average, we sold 34,000 iPhones per hour. That is over nine iPhones per second. This team played a critical role in making that happen. Today, many of the team members are proven leaders. They matter and they know it. You matter. As you live and lift, learn from your life and from others. We live in a world of instant gratification. We have instant noodles, instant coffee, instant likes on Facebook and Instagram. Life does not happen in an instant. Neither does a career. Building a career that is meaningful is not instantaneous. It takes hard work, dedication, and commitment. It takes time. Jack Breslin, after whom the Breslin Center is named, was a star football player at MSU and had an offer to play professional football in 1946. He also had an offer with Chrysler. One day, he was packing his bags to go play professional football in LA. He got a call from Dr. John Hanna, who was the MSU president at the time. Dr. Hanna told Jack that he had played games long enough and asked him to think about the offer from Chrysler. After spending a sleepless night, the next morning, Jack Breslin did not go to LA. Three days later, he joined Chrysler. That one call from Dr. Hanna helped define Jack Breslin's career. Three years later, Dr. Hanna called him again. In 1950, Jack Breslin joined MSU. If he had moved to the West Coast and played professional football, we would likely not have the Breslin Center or many of the 60 MSU buildings that were built over the time he was at MSU. He went on to become a legendary administrator in over the three decades he was here. Jack Breslin was called Mr. MSU. Opportunities come knocking in the strangest ways. Sometimes you create them, sometimes they happen, and sometimes they show up as problems. Convert problems into opportunities. Fall 2000, feels like yesterday, right on this campus, I was interviewing for full-time jobs. I was talking to top companies and I ended up with eight offers. It was exhilarating as it was the complete opposite of my undergraduate job search experience. Among the offers were big names like Chrysler, Apple, and IBM. I had the opportunity to pick the job I wanted. This was the time of the dot-com boom and I thought it was best for me to pick a company of the future, the 21st century. So I didn't pick any of the big names. I joined a startup. 
That obviously was the cool thing to do. Fast forward to March 2001, two months before graduation, and the company I signed up with decided to lay off all but five of their employees. What was left of them was being sold to another company. It was the effect of the dot-com bust. The founders called me and offered to keep my role, transfer me to the new company, as they knew I was just getting started. Though my world came crashing down around me, I decided not to be a burden on them. With eight offers, this should have been easy, but here I was. I had just lost everything that I had worked so hard for. I had to go back to the drawing board. Suddenly, from being able to pick from eight offers, I was struggling to get a job again. I mustered up enough courage and decided to talk to some of the companies I had sent regret letters to. Apple was one of them. A few more nerve-wracking phone interviews later, Apple and IBM were ready to take me back. I had really liked interviewing at Apple on campus and liked the people I met. I took the job, and since then, there has been no looking back. Little did I know that I was embarking on a journey at a company that will be an industry leader in supply chain and manufacturing. And I'll even have a small role to play in it. I learned from this incident that life will not be a bed of roses, nor will it be a crown of thorns. Every situation, easy or difficult, helps build character. Building a career requires a growth mindset. The foundation for a growth mindset is your ability to acknowledge that imperfections exist. You must take responsibility for your mistakes. Room for improvement does not translate to failure. It means you can do better. Don't let missteps bog you down, and don't be too giddy with success. If you succeed, learn from success and better yourself. If you make a mistake, accept it and learn from it. Never, ever give up. Today is the start of a new chapter in your life. You're graduating from one of the premier educational institutions in the country, and you're just beginning to climb the heights you're going to reach in the future. You will continue to learn build a body of work, build credibility, build relationships, and build careers. Congratulations again, and thank you all for allowing me the honor of participating in your special day. In conclusion, I wish for you to live, lift, and learn. Spartans can and Spartans will. Thank you.